We have new data tonight showing the Delta variant is spreading throughout Houston. Wastewater sampling shows the strain has been detected in five times as many facilities recently than at the start of May. Our Matt Doherty is following the story for us tonight. Matt. The Delta variant appears to be spreading, but at the same time, the presence of the UK variant appears to be diminishing. The Delta variant is becoming uh, more commonly found across many different areas of the city. There's no one area that we're finding it in in particular. We're finding it in many different areas. As of the last test result, the Delta variant was found in 15 of the city's 39 wastewater treatment plants. It was first detected in one plant on April 26th. Since then, the variant has spread. But is it cause for concern? The evidence is increasing to suggest that this does cause, cause more severe illness. The Houston Health Department's um, chief medical officer, Dr. David Purr, that. says if you're vaccinated, there's only a tiny chance you could get sick. The concern is for those who haven't gotten their shots. It's spreading amongst those who are not vaccinated and those who are not vaccinated are predominantly younger people because up until recently, you had to be 18 to get vaccinated, but even today, you know, it's only vaccines only available for 12 and above. The wastewater data shows the number of treatment plants where the alpha variant is being detected is slowly decreasing. Dr. Per says this makes sense as the Delta variant appears to be taking over locally as the dominant strain. Dr. Per says if you're not vaccinated, you need to be aware that the symptoms of the Delta variant are different. He says they're much more like the common cold. Well, here it is summertime, and so not many of us should be getting nasal congestion and sneezing and simple coughs. This is not the time of the year to be getting that. And so if you're having those symptoms, you need to be really worried that you've contracted the Delta variant. Dr. Per says kids who are 12 and under and not eligible for the vaccines should still be wearing masks when they're out in public and also socially distancing whenever possible. Back to you.